It's Blunt Token YC, and we're here with Cole Alexander TV. Uh, so for those who don't know, where you from, gang? I'm from the Bronx. I lived uptown like my whole life, so just anywhere uptown, that's where I'm from. I don't jack no blocks and none of that shit. Even though we're in fucking Marble Hill right now, I fuck with the guys out here, you know what I'm saying? Turn it up. All right, so let's get straight to the point, bro. I seen your shit with Glorilla, bro. Like, yeah? You trying to fuck that for real? Like, I would fuck the shit out of Glorilla. Like, she really, like, you see her nose and, like, the way her cheekbones is constructed, like, she look like she could take dick. No funny shit. Now she posting, she celibate and all this shit. She the real king to fucking break that streak and give her that strong pelvic thrust. <laughs> So, so like I seen like right now you're going through your little transaction. You was you was doing comedian skits. Now I see you starting to rap. Like how did that all come about? I mean, do you want to know the truth? Yeah. I was rapping first. You was rapping first. Yeah, I was rapping when I was 13, 14. I was already writing and doing shit. Like I did the rap first. Then I started doing content on accident, bro, because I was around certain people who were into that. I didn't never was really into content. I started by accident, got really good at it. Then incorporated music back in my thing. So, like, the last year or two, it's been 50-50 between content and music. I'm just trying to push them both as hard as I can. W would you would you make a drill song? Like, I think I have made drill songs. Like, it what do you mean? This like, drill like, me? Like, like this like and But, like, not, like, dads, but, like, like other, like, internet niggas you don't fuck with. Like, some shit uh, like that. Nah, I mean, to be honest, bro, I feel like I'm too lyrical. Like, I talked my shit before. Like, I, you know, I've said some shit about Lil Mabu and, like, certain people and shit like that. But, like, nah, I ain't really, I, I'm lyrical. I don't really need to diss and shit like that. But, like, if I want to talk my shit, I'm going to talk my shit, yeah. But, like, no deads and no nothing like that. Okay. What do you see yourself five years from now? <sighs> I mean, to be honest, I see myself with, with a wife, kids, living good, not living in New York anymore. I don't live in New York anymore. But, like, I mean, living, living, like, real, real good, like, stable type shit. Taking care of my children, taking care of my family. I want my dad to have a house and all that. Like, you know, all this hood shit is cool and having fun. Fucking bitches, it's all cool and shit. But, like, I really want to have a family. I have some stability in this shit. That's my real goal. Like, I, it ain't about being the most popular and shit like that. Like, I want to be the most successful, independent creator artist to ever live. Like, I don't plan on signing no deals or nothing I was like just that. about to ask you what you're trying to do. Nah, I don't, plan, I don't plan on it. I mean, like, people came to me. Every, like, a lot of labels fucking trying to give me influencer deals, all types of shit. But, like... I like the way I built it, and I, have a, I share a special connection with my supporters. Like, they relate to me because they see, oh, shit, like, he's really doing this shit out the mud. He's not signing no fucking management or nothing. He's really just outside getting it, and that's the message I want to push. I want to see, like, younger people, older people, whatever, really, like, outside just posting, being consistent, building a fan base without all that shit. I want to come right, come right from the home ground. You feel me? Okay, so how did you meet Ron Suno? Because the first skit that I have that I seen personally is when he took you on the drill. You went on the drill. Yeah, what well, you fucking what's my call? Took the whole shit. Oh, Mabu. Come on, bro. <laughs> we did that shit two years ago. Now these motherfuckers, all he did was find the fucking drill rapper and do the same video with a higher budget. That's what record labels do. They take, they basically take the idea, like they take the originator, like me and Ron originated that type of shit. We were the first white guy and black guy to do a video like that. So the label seen that shit, took it. And made it mainstream and put mad money behind shit, but they ain't fucking invent that shit. We, I was the real innovator on that. Ron was the real innovator on that. And I met him simply like he seen one of my videos on Instagram, whatever. Hit me up and um, gave, and you know he gave me a shot when a lot of people didn't give me a shot. I was I had like eight nine k followers. It was after like my first two big videos, and we did that um the run up shit. We did we gonna make a McFlurry like that. We did that shit. That shit went crazy like a million. That shit got like two point mil two something mil to this day. And then we did the shit you're talking about, which still got a lot of views. Got a lot of views. It's just crazy how it gets outshined because we weren't the mainstream guys. So, like, now people think these motherfuckers invented it. They didn't invent nothing. We did that. It got millions of views. But, you know, we ain't touched the type of numbers they touch, bro, because we don't have that kind of push and stuff like that. Like, I'm not hating on them. I'm just saying the truth. Like, this shit all comes from somewhere, bro. I feel like me and Ron are, like, two of the biggest innovators when it comes to content and music. Because we some of the first people to do content and music and bridge the gap together. Now you got everybody doing that shit for real, for real. No, that's, that's a lot of content creators, like myself, other people. No, nah, shout out to the motherfuckers who's working hard, who really have a passion for them and, and is doing it in like a positive way and really like got love for the game. But a lot of these people are just doing it for the clicks and the views and stuff like that. Back then, everyone wanted to be a rapper. Now today, everyone wants to be a content creator. It's like everyone wants to stream. Everyone wants to be the next Kai Sinat, the next somebody, bro. Everybody wants... I mean, I feel like content is the bag today, so that's why people really want to get into content, which is good. Anyone who wants to better their family and shit like that, that's perfect. 
But you got to pay respect to the people who came before. You feel me? Who without the way for you. Type yeah, without motherfuckers like me and a few other people, bro. Like you want a lot of these people wouldn't be doing shit. And like, you know, I just feel like they should pay that respect and, and, uh, and keep working. Exactly. Exactly. So I know you've been seeing a lot of your content because we had a conversation like, how do you feel or what, what's your message to people who steal your content and up and repost it? Um, shit. I'm a, they can suck my dick. That's number one. If they're stealing it with negative intent, like to fucking monetize off my name and off the shit I'm doing to make money off of it, fuck them. They're pieces of shit. They're taking, you're using my original stuff and trying to make money off of this shit. That's all the way wrong. I don't respect that. I would never do that to anybody. I don't believe in none of that shit. Um, but it's like, if it's like a, if it's like a supporter just posting my shit on their page, tag, trying to like, you know, help me out and shit, of course, but I appreciate all the support and shit, but I don't like when people trying to get over, use my name for views to build their own pages and shit like that, especially the people who say negative stuff. It'd be people talking shit about you, but still using the name, your name to build their own shit. It's one thing. If you say my name in a positive light, it's like, okay, like you giving me my props and shit. But if you're fucking just hating and saying negative shit about me. But you're still using me to build your platform, so I don't get it. Which one is it? Do you like me or not like me? Because if you're using fucking negativity around my name to build your platform, you're still using my name. So if my name's in your mouth, my dick's in your mouth. Or the girl's like mouth, that. you know? Yeah. Um, so when you, get your, when you get your first big contract, how do you plan on spending it? Saving it. Saving it? I ain't even on, no, bro. You, I'm not a flashy dude. Like, Chief Keith sent me this coat. Like, I ain't... Chief Keef sent me this coat. I ain't, you know, I'm not going to get into it, but I don't really pay for clothes and shit like that ever since I started all this shit. I get a lot of sponsors and shit like that, so they're cool like that. But um, I'm saving it, bro. You got to be smart with this shit. A lot of people in the in the inner city, they don't understand, bro. Like You don't take it and buy a watch or buy a fucking big-ass house you can't really afford in the long run, bro. You take care of your family, and you fucking save that shit. Invest it in real estate. Start a fucking marketing firm. Start a company, bro. Long-term shit. This rap shit. This funny shit, like, you could be very talented. It don't mean it's going to last forever. Like, if you look at some of the greats, they're not even really making music anymore, bro. Uh, you got motherfuckers like Chameleon and for Chameleon Air, well, Mad Long. You got, like, Flo Rida, motherfuckers like that who started full-on businesses. Uh, well, and then and then they realize that as they get, like, deeper in line into it, and then that's why you see, like, mad, like, old artists, they, like, make um their own record labels and shit like that. Yeah, like, I would. I, I fuck with the record label thing. Like, I want to mentor, like, Younger artists, not it's not even younger. Anyone who's like who has the right vision and shit, like I don't care if the motherfucker's twenty five, but if I see potential and shit, I would love to mentor younger artists. But it's like with me, I don't want to do it in a way where it's like, oh, I'm gonna make you sign this and I own all your shit, because that's what people try to do to me all the time, and I don't allow it to happen. But like, I don't want to be that guy where a guy's gotta feel like, oh, I gotta give up everything for this guy to fucking fuck with me. Like, no, I want to just help people out of love. I don't want no contracts, no nothing out of my heart. I just want to see people. Do good and win. That's all, bro. I don't. I don't want nothing from nobody, bro. I'm focused. I'm gonna be sturdy regardless. Like, I don't need money off people, regardless of what it is. I'm always gonna be good in my videos, good in my music and shit. I'm always gonna be sturdy in life. But like, having a good heart and being kind is important, bro. Because a lot of people are fucking pricks in this industry or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know? Okay. Describe your um your childhood growing up. Was it easy? Was it hard? Like, how did you live growing up? I mean. Shit was sturdy. Shit was sturdy, bro. Like it was. It was. I'm grateful before anything. Like yeah. Like shit was rough, obviously, but like I'm grateful. You feel me? Like I had a father that loved me. That always took care of me, and and I was playing sports all the time. I was a really good basketball player. So like I kind of found my escapes and my outlets from all the bad shit. So like yeah, I'm I'm sober. I don't. I never smoked. I never drank. Nothing like that. So I was a good kid growing up. Like yeah, it was outside. Shit is a little critical. It's a little crazy out here. Whatever. Like I seen some shit. Whatever. Whatever. But like. It ain't for really for me to speak on. I'm on to better things, bro. That shit stays here. I'm going here. So I'm just focused on however I'm could, I could get to the top, keeping my morals and shit, not doing no weird shit, but keeping my morals and being myself and, and having fun with it. That's that's what I do. Yeah, a little rough childhood, but it ain't shit, bro. We shake that shit off. Okay. What are some words you would say to yourself in that like, future you? Like me talking to myself right yeah. now? Yes, to in me? this present moment, yes. Um. Be smart. Don't get tricked off your position. Uh, be upfront with people. D don't mix business with pleasure. Like, don't feel like, you know, you don't got to, if someone's your friend, let them be your friend. It don't mean you got to do business with them just because it's your friend. Because when you do business with people that you're friends with, 
it could ruin friendships. And I've seen that. Like, I don't like ruining my friendships. If you're my friend, let's hang out and have fun. I don't want to do no fucking dealings with you in terms of money and shit like that. It always gets in the way. I'd rather work with somebody I don't know at all because it's a respect there. When people, when you know somebody too well, like if you're my man and I really fuck with you and shit, there's a chance you might try to get over on me. Or I, might, I might try to get over on you because we comfortable, bro. Like if my set price is really 2K for something, but you my man, you be like, yo, bro, I could get this for 200, ah, da. It just don't work out. I'd rather just stay away from it at all and do shit with people I don't know, bro, because it's a common ground and it's respect and everything. That's a fact. That's a fact. Okay. What are some last words you want to say to the camera right now? Man, stay focused. Stay humble. Work hard and work smart. You can work hard, but you got to work smart and keep your soul. You don't need to do no weird shit to get up. You feel me? Like, it's going to take a longer time. I'm not about to sit here. And lie. I could have did some weird shit and got up like crazy or whatever. But nah, I'm just working at my own pace and believe in God. I don't know what people's religion is or nothing like that, but God is real and the devil is real. They both real. We're not going to sit here like the devil not real. He always on your shoulder trying to get you to do something you're not supposed to be doing, but you always got to call to God and he going to hold you down forever. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. God, God is the way out. Whatever you're doing, you're real. We all sin. I'm still, I'm still sinning to this day. But I'm working on things to get better. Like I don't watch, I don't watch pornography anymore. I try to eat as healthy as I can. I'm kind to people. Little things like that. I'm just working one thing at a time. How could I get better each day and get closer to God? Like I'm still, I'm still messing up in certain ways. But I know it. I could look. I'm like, damn. Like I shouldn't do this. And it's made my decision making better. Like even though I fuck up still. I'm, I'm doing better now. I'm like 80% right, 20% wrong sometimes. So I'm improving every day. And yeah, just keep good faith, pray, and give it your all. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. Because once once that shit gets in your head, it's going to fuck you up mentally. And you're going to feel like you're not good enough. And that you'll never be shit. And that fucking, like, don't let those people manipulate you. That's all manipulation. That's the devil throwing shit at you. So you just got to look at God, fuck these people, and keep pushing, go hard, and most importantly, have fun. Have fun. It's, this shit is about having fun. At the end of the day, we start this to have fun. We start making music because it's fun. We start doing videos because it's fun. Not to fucking get bitches and fucking do stupid shit and fucking use our powers in the wrong way. No, we do this shit to have fun. So always keep your faith and have fun. That's my advice.